What's going on everybody, Matthew here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the Wonder King Z hack, and I'm going to have to do this in two different recorders since my resolution for my screen doesn't want to work too well with uh, Wonder King in minimize size. Alright, so pretty much what you're going to need is you're going to need right packet editor which you can get from uh, the link in the description below you'll need ripe the DLL and when you go to that site um, you'll go to the downloads tab and you want to look for Wonder King and you want to download the ripe star not ripe star VIP because the VIP one is one that costs money the free one works just as good and you'll need injector gadget 1.2 Alright, so you'll need to save them someplace on your computer, and I have them here on my desktop. Alright, so what you're going to need is you're going to need these, and you're going to need either two accounts or somebody to help you do this. Alright, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to start Wonder King, and... I'm gonna go ahead and start Wonder King now. I'm gonna have to do this in two different, two different videos. So, well, two different uh, editors, no, well, two different recorders. Cause, like I said at the beginning of the video. All right. So as I pause this, so I can get into Fraps. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna log into the game. You gotta pick your channel and your server that you're gonna be on. Pick your account. I recommend you don't do this on an account that you're worried about getting banned on. Alright, so here I am. And what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm going to go ahead and um, alt tab out of the game and go back to my desktop. And I'm gonna load um, the ripe, um, well, the injector gadget. And I'm gonna load my um, uh, my ripe star DLL with uh, injector gadget. All right, so here I am. I'm at the desktop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up injector gadget. You might need to run this as administrator if you're on Windows uh, Vista, and maybe you might need to do on Windows Seven, but I don't need to. All right, so we're gonna look for the Flora exe and we want to go to the browse button and locate our um, ripe star dll and we want to highlight it our dll click the inject and we want to um, pick the wonder king and the latest version click continue and boom we should now have the um, packet editor up. We can close the injector gadget out. We want to enable, um, I'm gonna put a check mark in the box that says hook send. All right, now we're gonna go back into the game. All right. So pretty much what we're gonna do now is, is now we're in game. And we have uh, Ripe DLL, the Ripe Star DLL injected into the game. Um, we want to make sure that we have eight items in the um, first tab of your inventory at the last one. So tab one at the very end, at the very bottom of the last one. See where the red potion is? That's where we want to. We need eight eight items in this spot for tab one so I have eight potions in tab one at the very bottom it has to be just like this or something well it has to be with eight items exactly how I have it so you can get you can use the red potions or town scrolls or whatever all right so we want to trade our or the other account Alright, so in the trade, we want to give, we want to put one of these 
into the trade and from here we want to alt tab out of the game and you go to the um, the packet editor and we want to look for the under the S tree we want to look for um, 0, 0, 050 and we want to and I'll show you what we want to look for alright so there's the 0, 0, 050 that we're looking for we want to double click this and it should be added to the packet list at the bottom we want to go to the seventh to, I mean sorry to the fifth row so this is row one this is row two this is row three this is row four and the fifth row is this row so there's five five numbers there's they're in groups of two so we want to go to the fifth one so two of them are, are equal to one which means 50 is one and then zero zero is and so on we want to go to the fifth one so the fifth run in the list here is the zero zero six yours will be different from mine probably um, so for the fifth one um, we want to change the last number or letter to a asterisk sign. We want to highlight this and we want to, yeah, I didn't want to know. We want to highlight this and we want to control C and we're going to go to the multi tab up at the top where it says multi and for generic packet under the packet tab right here we want to control V. We want to change the delay to 10. And we want to click send. We want to highlight this. Now, what we want to do now is click the start spamming button. And when we click the start spamming button, um, it should fill up the, uh, the inventory with uh, potions. After we do that, we want to um, click the stop spamming button and then we want to click the OK on the button and for the trade we want to cancel the trade and then log out of the game. Click the restart button and log out and when we log back in go to the, the warehouse um, and check for your, your Z there. Alright so I'm going to click the spam, the start spamming now. Alright so I'm going to click stop now and I'm gonna pause the video real quick so I can go back into the game with my other screen recorder alright so this is what you should see we just want to click OK to this we want to click cancel and we want to log out of the game pretty much want to go to the menu and then restart Click on your character, log back in, go to the warehouse, go to use warehouse, and then boom, there's your Z, as you can see. So, pretty much enjoy.